praise the Lord. What a great day it is to come into the house of the Lord and lift up our praises to Him and encourage one another. The Word of God reminds us in the book of Ephesians to speak to ourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in our hearts to the Lord. The Lord, He hears our praises. In fact, this is the offering that we bring unto Him. In the Old Covenant, their offering, it was with the sacrifices of bulls and goats and they worship God through that. But in the New Covenant, Jesus has given us His covenant, His blood covenant that He made with us. And now it is the fruit of our lips that we give thanks unto His name. It's a joyful thing to praise the Lord at all times. In fact, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my lips. And I also love what Jeremiah says. He says, your words were found and I did eat them. And your word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. You know, have you ever thought about God's word being like bread, food that you need to eat on and feed on, just like a good meal when you're enjoying it? When you come to that word, it satisfies your hunger. It satisfies your soul. That's what the word of God, it does for us. Gives us that fullness that we need for our spirit and for our body and for our mind. Amen. So let's praise him this morning. And all of you online, we're so glad that you're here. Wherever you're tuning in from around the world, we believe the same spirit that is here ministering to us will also minister and speak to you. And let the word of God comfort your heart. In fact, the Holy Spirit is called our comforter who comforts us in any kind of tribulation that we're going through or just in general in our life. He gives us the strength that we need for every day. So depend on the Holy Ghost. This is why Jesus sent him into our life to remind us of the words that he has spoken to us, to be that strength that we need. So we pray today that the Lord will speak to you and encourage you and bless you. Amen. We're going to start singing from the book of John chapter 9. This story is about the blind man who when Jesus came and healed him, he said these amazing words. He said, one thing I know, I was blind, but now I see. You know, think about a man who was born blind from his birth. And then Jesus comes and he heals the man. And he's so joyful because for the first time in his life, he can actually see. And then the Pharisees, they question him and they say, who has healed you? What kind of power has healed you? And when this man says, I don't know. But one thing I know, I was once blind. But now I see. And you know, we can apply that scripture into our life. Though we have our physical sight, we can apply it to the, you know, our eyes were blinded in sin, in the darkness. But Jesus came when he shined his light on your heart, your eyes were opened. You, the eyes of your understanding were opened to see him. Just like Paul, when he was on the way to Damascus, you know, he, his physical sight, he lost his physical sight when the Lord shined on him. But most of all, we see he was blinded on the inside. That's why he was murdering and killing but when Jesus came and gave him, opened the eyes of his understanding, he was a different man. Now he wanted to serve the Lord. And all of us, we were once blind in our sin. But thank God that Jesus shined his light on our heart. Aren't you thankful that he has come and opened your eyes to show you the way of life? You know, we could be living our own way. But thank God he came into us and gave us an eternal destiny. And so as we're singing this, rejoice that you were once blind and now you see. Let's rejoice as we sing this song. Amen. One thing I know, I was blind. But Jesus came and opened my eyes. One thing I know that I was blind 
Chapter 11 is also called the Hall of Faith chapter because you can see how from beginning to the end talks about how by faith the Lord he began he you know he created the heavens and the earth it tells us through faith that Abraham and Sarah they had a child it also tells us of many others in the scriptures who by faith they overcame obstacles or they received promises. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, which is the song that we're going to sing from that chapter, it says, Without faith it is impossible to please God. For without, when we come to God, we diligently seek Him. Because He rewards those who diligently or who persistently seek after Him. Faith is a lifestyle. It has to do with believing what the Lord said and acting upon it. When he gives you a word, you take that. That's your promise you're standing on. And that's your faith. Sometimes he'll tell you to take an action step. You know, when you can't even see what you're believing for, he might tell you to do certain things. And that's your faith that you put into practice. And so we're going to sing, without faith we cannot please God. God is pleased with your faith. Whether you're believing for healing or prosperity or any other area, put your faith to work. Speak what the Lord has said and it is by faith that you will obtain those promises. Amen. Let's sing from that scripture.
is impossible we make some declarations of faith and strengthen our inner man say it after me my faith, my faith is, the victory is the victory that overcomes the world, overcomes the world. by faith, by faith. I, obtain I obtain every good promise, every good promise that, the that the Lord has for me not wavering not, wavering, not, doubting, not doubting but believing, believing that when I, ask, when I ask when I pray I have, confidence I have confidence that the Lord hears me. The Lord hears me. He, never he never forsakes the righteous. The righteous. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue praising Him. Glorious name above all names.
rest that you give us, the rest of refreshing. You lifted us, Lord, out of the miry clay and set our feet upon a rock and established our goings. Even as David said, if not for the Lord, he would have fainted. But he said, I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we will not faint. You said, Father, those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. We will not faint or be weary in our mind. As Hebrews 11, you remind us to consider you. The way you endured, lest you be weary and faint in your mind. Lord, we remind ourselves that you overcame. You took upon yourself. So we will not have to be faint and weary. We're going to run. We're going to walk and not faint. You said to look unto things that are eternal. The eternal things that are unseen. This is the reason we do not faint. Hallelujah. Don't faint or be weary. The more you wait on the Lord, that strength comes onto you on the inner man. Gives you the strength in your physical body. But the more you, you depend only on your flesh, the way you feel, some days you'll be happy and the other days you won't you look unto the Lord he's always going to keep you encouraged he's always going to give you the strength that you need thank you Lord I pray Lord for your people right now in this world Lord even though there is tribulation you gave us hope be of good cheer I have overcome the world and Lord Jesus, I pray for those who are faint and weary in their minds, those who are also watching us. We take authority of those evil spirits right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And we speak, Father, your joy to come upon them, your joy to be their strength. We will mount up on wings like eagles. Just like the eagle soars high above the storm. It flies through those clouds of the stormy clouds. It flies. That's how you called us to be, Lord. To rise up. And I pray, Jesus, we would renew our strength in you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's say it, I will run and not grow weary, walk and not faint. The Lord strengthens me in my inner man. Amen. Hallelujah.